Right, hi guys, how are we all doing? So, um, this is just a little um, story that I want to share with you about something that happened on a job uh, this morning. I like doing these videos, um, it's not me particularly complaining about it, um, although sometimes I do. Um, it's just I like to share these things that uh, sometimes crop up and I think it's it's hopefully interesting for you guys just to see how uh, another person's day has gone. I got called out to a job last week, it was... Um, a couple of bits, uh, was a grass cut, uh, tidy some ivy, and uh, the border in the front garden, she just wanted to tidy it up. And uh, she's got a couple of little conifer trees and she wanted them trimmed. Um, absolutely fine, customer, absolutely fine. We got talking like she's local and uh, she knows um, me girlfriend's uh, parents. Uh, so she kind of knows like the family a little bit and that. Uh, so we just got chatting anyway and uh, I'll give her a price. It wasn't mate's rate, definitely not uh, this time. Uh, I didn't know her anyway, by the way. Um, but yeah, we agreed the price and uh, I was due to do the work this morning. She said she wasn't going to be in. That's fine. Um, I started working on the border about 45 minutes in. And this is what did annoy us a little bit, to be fair, given how uh, it unfolded. Um, I tweaked me back a bit doing the border, so I muddled on. And uh, I've had to cancel the job this afternoon. I don't want to make it worse. I think I'll be all right for tomorrow. Uh, I'm absolutely chock a block, and I can't afford to be off. In the in the uh, the the quote, I was basically given uh, free reign to make the border tidy and healthy. Um, there was things growing close together. There was weeds, you know. There was you know horrible bits of tufty grass, you know, thick grasses and stuff like that. And um, she said, "Do what you have to do to obviously make it nice." The the plant in question is a rosemary bush. We couldn't see that. Oh, I couldn't see that uh, on the initial quote because it was so overgrown. She didn't mention it at all. When I was doing the border, that was, it wasn't big. It was just, uh, how big was it? Maybe seven or eight inches. Uh, it was sandwiched between these two bigger bushes. And I thought this has to go. Like, I think it's fair to say when you're given free reign over a border um, and you need to, to space it out a bit and, and make it a bit healthier uh, some things just have to go obviously if the customer had said I definitely want that keeping then you keep it uh, you might try and explain well it, it shouldn't really be there it's better off being um, uh, dug out or moved you know um, but since she never mentioned it uh, and it was small it wasn't particularly healthy either uh, as I say because it was sandwiched between these two bushes I thought uh, I'm getting rid of it um, and thought nothing else of it and uh so anyway i, I kind of muddled on with the job i do need to, and that's another thing i do need to go back and trim these conifers but i didn't want to uh, make me back worse so i basically um got in touch with the customer i said um i'm gonna have to pop back just to finish off the job on uh, monday um i've done everything you've asked for like my back's gone a bit so i'm, I'm i don't want to make it any worse and she was like yeah fine no problem she obviously wasn't home at that point because I then got a message to say, uh, have you dug my rosemary bush out? And um, I said, yeah, like it was it was right in, in the thick of it. It was, uh, wasn't in a good position. Um, it was kind of half dying. And I thought um, it's best to, best to have taken it out. And uh, God, she was like, uh, this is over a, a text message. Like she was just saying, I didn't want you to dig it out, exclamation marks, and just being a bit of a dick about it. Um, and I just explained, I said, like, uh, I'm popping up later on anyway for the uh, cash she's going to uh, pay us by cash, so I'll, I'll have another chat with her. So I'm only charging for the work I've done today. I've reduced the overall cost a little bit, and uh, I said I'd do uh, trim these few conifers for like 20 quid. It's like the tiny, um, they're about head height and they just need the sides, like, to. So the money she's paying us is for today and she'll be paying us, if I do them, uh, again on Monday for the conifers. But that's obviously the conundrum. I guess I'll see how tonight goes. Yeah, she wasn't happy at all, basically. I says, well, you didn't mention it. You said, uh, make the borders tidy. You give us free license, free rent to do it. And uh, I said, uh, in my opinion, uh, that had to go. Um, yeah, I'll speak to her again later and see what she's saying, but um, like, I don't want to go back and trim those conifers. I mean, if she's going on like that over a rosemary bush, you know, why would you want to do any more work? Okay, so it's the next morning and uh, I'm just around the corner from the house. I'm going to pick up my money. Um, so I'm going to see what she says and um, hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, if she starts to get funny, I'll kick off. Um, 
I might be going back. I don't think I'll be going back anyway to do the rest of the job. As I say, she's paid us for what I've done and uh, the additional work uh, she hasn't paid us for. Uh, so it's not like I'm doing her out of money or anything. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll go in there, try and uh, play it down, be nice to her and stuff. And uh, if she wants to turn it where well, that's up to her, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'll come back in a minute and tell you. Right, so um, she's paid us for the work I've done yesterday. Um, when she opened the door, just says, hi, are you okay? And she goes, oh, my rosemary brush, why did you take that out? And I says, well, you, you didn't tell us not to. I said, I wouldn't have done if you told us. I said, we couldn't even see it when I was pricing the job because the, the two bushes either side were so big. And she says, yeah, well, I didn't want you to take it out. I was like, why? Right. Uh, just did what I thought. I said, uh, she'd actually replanted it. She'd uh, been through the uh, the bag. Because I, I bagged it up, um, bagged the waste and a few carry bags for her. And uh, she'd been through and she'd... she'd popped it back in, in a different place mine, uh, not the place where I took it out because it was crowded so I was right to take it out 100%. Not that I've messed up here, um, but have you guys dug anything out that you shouldn't have done, like that you've been hammered for or any big mistakes, like uh, if you put them in the comments I'll, uh, I'll have a little read through and um, yeah, have a little laugh and you probably had a li little laugh at my expense here as well. Uh, but that's that's the way it goes. I've done nothing wrong, hundred percent. I've I've done that time and time again with all the jobs, uh, as we all have some plants and, and things just have to go. Obviously, you leave them or you move them if you're given like specific instructions, and uh, it's it's just the way it goes. So yeah, let us know your stories and stuff in the comments and uh, say hello if you're new here, and um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Right, cheers, bye.